Hey guys, today I'm going over my sixth AI tip and we're going to cover how to automate SQL with AI. All right, so this is an agent that I'm going to share with you. It's going to actually do everything that I don't like about writing SQL and it's going to do that for me so I can get to analyzing data faster. So here's what we're going to cover today. There's three things, so make sure you stick around. First thing, I'm going to expose you to my AI data science team of co-pilots. That's where we're going to be able to take this new SQL agent that I just built and I literally just released it. Uh, we're going to be able to take it off the shelf and start to use it in our data science projects and it's going to write the SQL code for us. Awesome, right? Uh, the second thing, I'm going to create an AI co-pilot to automate SQL database queries, exactly what we need to do so it minimizes the mundane stuff. We want to eliminate the boring stuff, automate the boring stuff, and to me, SQL code generation, your time is more valuable spent on analyzing data, making machine learning models, doing the data science-y things. So we're going to show you how to streamline that. Third thing, we are going to cover how to run the SQL agent on the Northwind database. So this is a, a sample ERP database. So if you work in a manufacturing company or in any type of company, they normally have a customer database or a transactions database. This is going to connect up to that database and we're actually gonna see how we can use our SQL agent to interact with it. Pretty cool stuff. So um, those are the three things we're gonna cover. Before I dive into it, so this is some of the, the cool stuff we're gonna do. Um, you're going to make this agent. We're actually gonna run queries. We're going to see the SQL database or the SQL agent run on our database. So that's awesome stuff. But first thing, how do we get these agents? So I have just started building here about three weeks ago. I started making this AI data science team. And since then, we're already up over 303 stars. So I'm gonna give you the link to the GitHub repo right now. It's in the video notes. Do me a favor, go to that link, click on the uh, repo and do me a favor, start it. That's, make, that's a big deal. It's gonna make it easier for you to find this repo in the future. I'm gonna be doing a lot with this GitHub repository. And it's also how you get access to the, all the agents that I'm building. So make sure you start that. This is your a AI data science team. So what is it? It's really, it's like an army of co-pilots that I'm building for you so you can do data science tasks 10x faster, okay? So these are all on the shelf. You can just grab them when you need them. They'll come in this package. You just keep the package updated and you get the new agents as I release them. Uh, it's beautiful because it's they're designed to work with all the data science tasks that I used to get paid for. Uh, from companies when I consult with them or work at work with companies. So things like churn modeling, employee attrition, lead scoring, insurance risk, credit card risk, and basically any data science project. Um, how's it work? So I have these AI agents that I'm building. I've already got a data wrangling agent, a feature engineering agent, a data cleaning agent, and a SQL database agent. So, and I've got more coming. I'm actually working on some really cool ones right now. So I'm ones that I'm like super excited about. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, this is the, library that we're gonna be using. It's a Python package, and all we're gonna do is we're going to install it. So I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Okay, so that's the project GitHub. Again, link is in the notes. Um, also about the tor tutorial, so we're gonna go through a bunch of code here. So this is all the code. If you want access to the code, all you need to do is join my AI Tips newsletter, and I'll be talking and releasing new tips every single week. We're already up to the sixth one, making it a, a, um, a SQL Copilot to automate SQL. So we're gonna be working out of this folder today. See here on my VS code, this is the one that we're working out of, but we've got all these other ones that I'm building too. So link is in the video notes. Make sure to register for the newsletter. That'll get you access to the code and the videos. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna clear out my workspace here and restart. Just so you guys see that I'm working on a fresh, in a, in a fresh environment. Actually, I'll just X out of the whole thing. Um, all I'm doing is I'm opening up this automate SQL copilot. That's the file that I have open. Some other files that and folders that are going to be interested in this data. So we're going to be working with this Northwind database. It's a sample ERP system. So we're going to connect up to that. To get the AI data science team installed, run this line in your terminal and that'll install the latest version of the AI data science team that's on GitHub right now. Next thing, we're gonna load in a few libraries. I'll explain what these do here in a second as, as we go down through the tutorial. So I am going to be using Langchain OpenAI for this, but if you wanna use something else besides Langchain OpenAI, so I'm using the chat OpenAI function to interact with the AI or interact with OpenAI. 
If you don't want to use OpenAI, you can use Olama, you can use whatever else you want, any other provider. And that's the beautiful part about Langchain is they make all these different wrappers for, for different providers. So LLM providers are, there's <laughs> tons of them now. So yeah, if you want to do something, something different than what you see in this tutorial, it's possible. Okay. Main thing though is we are going to be working with my AI data science team. We're going to pull out one of the agents, this make SQL database agent. I'll show you how to use that in this tutorial. The next thing we need to do a little bit of setup here. I'm going to set up the a path to this folder. So that's what this does. And then I'm going to uh, create a connection to the database. So when I run that, what I'm doing is I got this path route that's going to point it here. And then I'm working out of this Northwind database. That's just pointing it to data and then Northwind database. I'm going to make a connection. That's what so this works with SQL alchemy, which has connectors to every single database that's out there. Oracle, SQL server, you, know, you name it, they, they've got them all. So MySQL, Postgres, all the common ones. So, so we're going to be working with a SQL Lite database today. Uh, and this is the connection string, but all you need to do is make an engine and then connect to that database with the dot connect method. And once you do that, you'll be able to use the SQL agent with this connection. All right. So you don't need to use the SQL agent. So you can use like pandas and this is just a, a good test to make sure that your connection is working. We're running this SQL command here where we're going to just evaluate what all tables exist in the database. Okay. All right. If that's working, then you're connected up. All right. Okay, so now how do we use this agent? So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our LLM. And what I'm gonna do again, as I had mentioned, I'm gonna use the OpenAI. I have an API key. All you do is you go to their website, you select API, and give them a credit card in exchange. They're gonna give you a, an API key, okay? So you will get charged for this, but I, I must, so that's the disclaimer, you know, hey, this stuff does cost money unless you're using Olama locally or something like that. But the good news is, is it's very, affordable. It's super cost effective. We're going to be using the GPT 4.0 mini model. I think I've been using it all month. My bill is like 45 cents. So yeah, very cost effective. So we're going to run this. That's going to set, um, I'm pulling in my credentials, but you're going to just put your open AI key in here and then you can just delete this line here. Okay. Logging. So logging is a really cool aspect of these AI data science co-pilots, the whole data science team that I'm doing, that I'm building, they all log things. And when I say log, what I want to do is I want to log the data processing functionality. So that way we can reuse it later on down the road and we have a history. And also if we you know, spend you know, a lot of money on these LLMs to create this big fancy function, I can save that function. So I don't need to run the LLM another time. So we're gonna actually log this AI functions. We're gonna point it to this folder and it's gonna log the SQL database file for me. Pretty, pretty nice. And inside of that file, it's gonna have all the, it's gonna, you know, it'll, it'll populate that with the functions that we, that, we, that we create in this tutorial. Okay, once we do that, so now we have everything. Let me run the logging part, make sure we've got all the setup stuff completed. Good, we're good to go. Now we can create the SQL agent. So I'm gonna run this and then I'll explain what's happening, okay? So I just ran all of this stuff. What we did was we connected up to an LLM. So this is just a basic LLM model, okay? So I could actually invoke this and just you know ask it questions just like I would chat GPT, all right? But that's gonna be the thing that powers our SQL database agent. So inside of the SQL database agent, we're now using this function to combine our model and give it our connection object so it has information about the database and then what it's gonna do when, when I run this is it's gonna have knowledge of our database and it's gonna be able to create SQL queries, execute those SQL queries on the database in order to pull data in. And it's gonna be, and it's all gonna do this through like human language. Very cool. So a uh, couple quick comments, this N samples. So this is a very large database. Um, so when, when I ran, this, this database has 13 different tables and each one of those tables has you know, probably five to 15, sometimes 20 columns, okay? So what we need to do is we need to give the SQL agent information about how this database is organized and default we give it 10 samples of each so basically for each table we give it 10 samples for you know each of the different columns and what we can do is we can end up running out of token limits so if you do run into an error there just set n samples equal to one by default it's at 10 but one one is fine one will give it sufficient information okay so in that, we're going to be logging. So this is actually set to true. I think log is, yeah, it's a literal true right now. And then log path, the path I'm going to be 
setting it up with is going to be pointing to this AI functions folder. I've just added some new functionality to all of the agents to bypass some of the steps. So for things like feature engineering, that are really, you know, like you really need to understand the step-by-step -step process that your agent's gonna take. This might be important. You want it to explain the code before, or recommends, excuse me, recommend steps before you actually execute code on those steps. So if you want that, if, if you don't wanna bypass that step, you set this to false and that's the default. But for us, because we're gonna be asking lots of questions and we don't want our user to, to have to wait for answers or ourselves to wait for answers, we're gonna bypass that step and it's gonna make actually less call to the LLM. So when we bypass that step, and then also at the end, there's an exclamation step, we can skip that. So we're gonna, we're gonna skip both of those steps. So if we see our SQL agent, looks like this you can see it just goes straight into you know the user is going to give it a, some instructions it's going to go create it in, straight into creating the sql query and then executing that code if there's any problems it's going to attempt to fix it and then once it gets the finalized code it's going to end all right now a lot of talking i'm going to shut up for a minute and we're going to run this thing okay so first question i always ask is what tables are in the database if you do see max retries and retry count so that relates to this fixing step. So if we run into a problem, it will fix the code. All right, so we're already done. And you can see it's walked through each of these three steps, creating the SQL query, creating the, the, a Python function to run the SQL code, and then executing the agent code on the SQL connection. All right, and we've seen, and we see here that it, it, we have logged it, indeed logged this function to the SQL database file, okay? So what did it do? Well, it did, it did build this function here for us. And this is what we call a SQL pipeline. It's actually a Python function with a SQL query embedded inside of it, okay? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Like you can imagine if we start asking it some, you know, questions that are more advanced, it'll start to build out and save our SQL queries for us. Fantastic, right? That's what we call pipelines. That's what they're, they're amazing. So there's a bunch of information that, that will get returned in this response object, okay? So this response object has all of these different fields or different, it's a dictionary and it, and it comes back with all of these different keys and we can get the values that are stored in each one of those keys. So for example, our data SQL. So this is all of the table names, okay? In a nice little pandas data frame, all right? If we wanna get any of the other keys, you know, so if we wanna know the SQL query code, we can get that. So if I just do response SQL query code and it'll look a little, because this is just one liner, it looks good. But if you get into multiple lines, you might want to pretty print it. Okay, let's do another one. Let's try out another question. What are the sales for each product? Something that, you know, we've got a bunch of different tables. We've got products in here. We've got customers. Uh, we've got order details, orders, and so on. And we want to understand, you know, we want to basically combine some of these tables, join them, and, you know, figure out how do some analytics on them, like how much sales have we got by product? Very common question that people ask, or, you know, people wanna know. Okay, so shift and enter, we're gonna ask it, what are the sales for each product? And already it's done again. If I do, uh, extract out the data frame, these are the top products, total quantities and total sales. We can get the SQL query code. And if I want my pipeline, that's in my SQL database function. So we can see this has been updated now. We've now got a new database pipeline. And you can see here, the SQL query is indeed embedded inside of that. Okay, let's do another one. Let's make it, let's ask a different question or expand on this question. So now we wanna know what are the top sales for each product by year. So this is now another, now we're, now we're doing time series, right? So hopefully this, you know, hopefully it doesn't take too long, right? It'll go quick though. Here, it's already done. We can see now by year, We've got the product name and the total sales, and I've got the SQL query code now in order to do that. So this saves me a ton of time. I don't have to write all this. This is like time consuming stuff for me. As a data scientist, I don't wanna to have to write SQL all the time. Now I can just use this agent to be able to literally write SQL code for me so that way I can get my data faster. And I can start making my plots, making my visualizations, whatever, and understanding what's going on. All right, so there you have it. That is how to use and create your SQL agent. If you wanna create your first SQL agent, this is awesome for you. The next steps though, 
So just want, want you guys to know where I'm headed with this. My goal is to have a whole team of AI co-pilots, so not just SQL agents, but feature engineering, modeling agents, machine learning, exploratory agents, data, data analysis agents, agents that connect up to GitHub and can you know become experts in GitHub code. I, I've got all sorts of agents that are coming, so you really wanna tune in and make sure that you follow the AI Tips newsletter because I'm gonna be talking about how to do all this stuff so you can help, uh, help you learn generative AI for data science. Remember guys, there's a thousand different applications, literally thousands of AI applications that we can combine with data science and it's gonna be the future. So, so as you guys watch these videos, make sure to give me some feedback. So the easiest way to give me feedback, check out my AI data science team. If you have any issues that you run into, you know, add, just create a new issue here and just you know, fill out what problems you're having what features you want to see, anything that you want. And also you can comment on the video too. I know I've had a lot of people doing that, getting comments through the video and they've been good comments. We've actually created new issues for, for those. So definitely check out the GitHub repo there. Give it a star, links in the video notes. And then if you, so we did go through how to send feedback through the GitHub issues. Also I am, so there's a huge movement that's going on right now. It's this movement to the generative AI data science where that's data scientists who have generative AI skills and companies are paying a lot of money for those types of positions. In fact, companies like SNVIDIA, Meta, they're all hiring for, you know, Wal even companies like Walmart and Home Depot are hiring generative AI data scientists. So it's a fast growing subset of the data science field that's gonna blow up here in 2025. I wanna help you become one, and I do have a paid program. It's a, my generative AI for data scientists bootcamp. We have an eight week live clinic style program where I teach you and I give you the most advanced projects that'll help you become a generative AI data scientist so you can both build and deploy applications for your company. First four weeks are designed around building, actually first five weeks are all building data science applications with AI and integrated into them. And then the last three weeks are how to deploy those solutions with cloud tools like AWS, Docker, Nginx, all of that stuff. So if you want to check out that, follow this link here. I'll put a link in the video notes as well. You can check that out. All right, guys, I'll see you all soon. Uh, good luck with SQL and use this agent to help make your life a lot easier. Bye-bye.